How y'all doing, man? We tuned in with another episode, Hot on the Block. We got the real Trey Groove in the building. How you doing? What's good with it, man? What's good? <clears throat> What's the word? Man, shoot, nah, bro. We good. We happy that you here, man. You all the way, all the way from Barry Farms? Yeah, D.C. Well. So, so, you know what I'm saying? So, so... You say you, you, you grew up a block old from Shaw Glizzy, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, to, for the people who don't know, you know what I'm saying, like, what is Berry Farms like and how did that influence your music, bro? Shit, um, really, Southeast D.C., really, that's hard. Like, it, it's like nothing but, but violence. I mean, like, I grew up, you know, thinking, like, you know, I'm going to always be this anger anger problem, anger kid you are, like, you know, this bad kid, you know, we grew up violent, like, you know what I'm saying, that that lifestyle, we lived that lifestyle where, you know, we wanted to take everything, which was, you know, I mean, it's not how I think now, but back then, you know, we needed the money, you are, like, everything, so, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. so, like, <clears throat> did that, what's your sound, like, do you feel like you have a true DC, DC song? song? Nah, yeah. shit, not even, man. I don't know. I think, I think, I, I mean, like, I do sound DC sometimes, but like, I think I created my own sound. Mm -hmm. You know, not to sound no, not to sound cocky or nothing, but like, yeah. I think I created like, you know, my own wave, like, you know, versus as far as versatility, as far as like my tone, my tone, my melodic forms and shit, like. Yeah. So I just feel like, yeah. Okay, so like I've, I've heard a couple things, you know, like I know you got like one kind of like freestyle type of video out, keep it grooving, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And you actually give bars, you know, in a time where music is heavy on punching in, heavy on good production and repetitive sounds, but you actually tell stories in your music. Can you just kind of talk about like your process? Like, do you write? Like, yeah, shit. Uh I ain't gonna lie, like I write all my shit. All my shit is my shit, but like when I'm when I'm on a notepad, you are like yeah. I, I think I freestyle mm -hmm. the whole beat. You know what I'm saying? And then you go back and yeah. write over. Uh, and then that's how that's how I do it. That's how I form it to perfection. You know, it takes me a couple of days to finish a whole song. Like you know, so do you feel like in a time where there's so many artists and so much so much content is being put out, like? You have to put out a certain, you know, amount of music for yourself. Shit, I, I honestly. Cause you take your time with it. Yeah, so. yeah. Honestly, I I feel like, well, Redwood. I feel like Redwood beats the label signing to them was a perfect thing for me because I'm very self paced in my music. Like I don't want people to be like, oh, you need this done by this. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I just feel like yeah. So I, I I feel like they let me work on my own my you know what I'm saying at my self pace. Like I could drop song tomorrow, you know, and it'd be cool. Like you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Or I could drop song in a year, it'd be still straight. You feel me? So mm -hmm. that's just how I, I think of it. Like Redwood lets you get lets you lets you come up with your own masterpiece, drop it at at your own time. So you can feel comfortable within, you know, because it's a family. Like you want to feel comfortable before anything. You heard so. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. So like, when did you sign to Redwood? I signed in June, uh -huh. right before my birthday. Okay, your birthday. Is June eighth. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. So you're Gemini. Yeah, last year. That's yeah. a bit. That's a bit. Okay, so you've been a year with the label, and it's based out of Houston. Yeah. Um, it's Fifth Ward. Nah, I well, uh uh, Redwood from Studio Wood, uh, I think D, D is from uh, Fifth Ward. Okay. Uh, I, most of them are from, <laughs> everybody in labor pretty much except Ant yeah. is from, uh, and Quando is from, uh, so it basically it's Houston. Okay. Everybody is basically Houston or been in Houston for a while. Mm -hmm. So. Does that contribute to your sound? Like, do you feel like Houston culture is, is better for you to. to I feel, that? I feel like. I feel like nobody should go based off of how everybody else sound. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Like, I feel like if you want to do this shit, I feel like you shouldn't try so hard to be like Kendrick. You shouldn't try so hard to be like Young and May or Pop Smoke. I feel like you should try so try hard to be you. If it if it happens that you sound like 
you know, them people or if people think you sound like them, then yeah. I feel like Houston culture music wise is 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 very is very valid though. Like it's good, like, you know, as far as like upcoming artists, you are like, you know, cause you don't see too many famous people from Houston. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But upcoming artists like or I mean, there is big people from Houston, like Beyonce yeah. and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I th- I feel like I, when I was in DC and shit, I never really heard of a Texas Texas rappers and shit. Okay. So. Okay. That's just. But do you feel like since you've been here more, you yeah understand and you see like there is a lot of talent out here. In the yeah, South? for sure. There is a lot of talent every everywhere. I mean, Megan Thee Stallion. I mean, she she all like she, so, yeah, she, and she like just Erica she, Banks. yeah, and she yeah, Erica Banks. She and they just upcoming like they just starting to really just well, Megan Thee Stallion is, is blowing up way bigger than that, but you know what I'm saying. But as far as like upcoming people like Erica Banks and shit, like yeah, they they go hard and shit. So people don't really recognize people don't really appreciate their music because they not famous like Drake or something. Mm-hmm. But they, they can go harder than Jake, you know what I'm saying? But they still be uh, underground, you know? So people people uh, appreciate mainstream, what's convenient for them. Yeah, so. yeah, I see what you're saying. It's more access, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But so um, I know like off camera we was just talking about like some of your experiences and uh, I know that you were incarcerated. Yeah. Um, what about that experience you feel made you a better artist and just being able to process things because i know that's that's a lot of a mental stress when you're yeah. in spaces yeah and you're young 20. yeah i feel like as far as rapping goes it gave me it gave jail gave me experience mm-hmm. so you know so i could talk more it's not good as far as the sense of the shit i went through yeah in the but it's it got me talking about a lot more stuff mm. in my raps and where I could guide people to not make the same mistakes I made. Okay, okay. So, do you do you feel like you writing and, and going through your process as an artist is therapy? Yeah, for sure, no doubt. You are like, and I've been doing it for a long time, so it's just mm-hmm. you know I go th- I've been going through a lot of shit like mm-hmm. so. It's, it's good for the brain. It's good, you know what I'm saying? Especially the writing. Even if I don't get to record it, it's good to write. You know, because once you write that that masterpiece, once you write that shit that's just dope, you are, you're going to be excited. Like, you know, you don't want to tell everybody what you wrote. You feel me? So that's the joy about writing. Yeah. That's why, you know, I, pre- I, I, I guess I respect people that, that have ghostwriters and shit. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not real, though. You feel me? Cause other people wrote that. Nah, in fact. So you don't feel like it's like as genuine. Yeah. I mean, but there's always gonna be people like you might go in the studio, drop a couple bars. They might be like, you could have did it like this. But yeah. It's still you though, versus yeah. somebody writing for you. You know what I'm mm. saying? True, true. Um, uh, don't catch my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't catch my. Yeah. Red wood. Yeah, we in this motherfucker, man. Uh, I've been trying to make it. <laughs> uh, don't catch my vibe. I've been trying to make it. <laughs> trying to touch blue faces. Uh, what a. Vibes. Uh, wait, which one? Uh, uh, that's the one you got on Apple Music. Yeah, I dropped that. Yeah, yeah already. Yeah, don't so, catch my vibes. Yeah. yeah, don't catch my vibes. So, what is what is what, what, what would you say? You know, because you got different pockets. I didn't heard. You know, you play some of your unreleased music for me. You yeah. straight bar it up. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you got different pockets of like your music though. So, like, what what made you want to put that out as a single? Shit. Um. I think uh, Don't Catch My Vibes. All right, so look, really, when I wrote Don't Catch My Vibes is after I, uh, after I dropped uh, uh, Joker Face. Okay. And that was my first, that was my debut single. Mm-hmm. So dropping, dropping Don't Catch My Vibes was like, I'm, tr- I'm trying to bring the drill shit back. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because Joker Face was kind of, it was d- dark, but it was slow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't catch my vibes. It's like, you know, that's that club shit. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be 
I want to do things different. Like, if I wanted to have a singing shit, some singing shit, then I'm gonna have that shit. You are. If if I want to drop some drill shit, then I'm gonna drop some drill shit. You feel me? So it's just a it's just a way. I guess don't catch my vibes came in to be like, you know, to separate me like. Mm. It's not I'm not just this I'm this too You feel yeah, me? Yeah, so still not put you in a box so Yeah you can, you can do more Yeah So I know you just recently dropped Different Breed No, nah, not yet It's coming out Okay, it's coming out Yeah 16th Yeah, the 16th April okay. 16th Okay, so What can we expect You know, with that Like If, if you could give us a little Shit. Little preview, Like You know, the, the album The album cover got Got some like purple rose type vibe, yeah. Rose on there, you know. Um. I ain't gonna lie though, the different breed is a drill song though. Okay. Yeah. It's, Would you say that's 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 what you like to put out mostly, like drill music? Nah, I like and that emotional shit be touching me, cause I I write better when it's emotional. Like I write deeper when it's emotional. I think my my the the I think the best thing to for me to write, like the what I love love to write, is. Is emotional shit Now when it When it's like that beat That you can ride on That drill beat Then that whole I like that shit too So mm-hmm. You know it's all it, it all depends on my mood too yeah. Cause I can have a whole week I write And be like In some sad shit You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. So Just so- be- Grind uh-huh. You only get one shot at this shit Keep it going uh-huh. <laughs> Your- Crip nigga Redwood. Hey look And D Pass me that bottle nigga what the fuck is you talking about? about? <laughs> I ain't playing with none of these hey. niggas no more. Uh. Fuck nigga, bitch nigga, crypt. Thirsty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, hey look. <clears throat> you wonder how big I get. I say worry about your fucking self. Understand, I've been underrated, but the money. I tried to turn the weed when I was down and I had nothing else. Build my fan base. I'm like, damn, these niggas something else. Convinced Jolie missed me. Now her pussy lips is on your mouth. Had to tell you twice, but it's like every time you go that route. Try to turn against me. Now the bitch you talk was coming out. I ain't even mad, cause I know my dick is in her mouth. Talking about her lips taste good. I know my dick sweet. Tolerate no disrespect. The enemies might tempt me. God bless me, Angel. It was destiny he sent me. I wonder how many times I froze up when she kissed. What? I'm tired of keeping quiet. They ain't vibrant and there's nothing new. Who said they was looking? I ain't hiding from. So emo- the emotion, emotion part, like, okay. So I guess I'll tell you a little about me. So my mom died when I was younger. I heard that in your music. Yeah. You said that in Trey Group 3. Yeah, yeah. Good. So. And keep it grooving. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that is where all my emotions stem from. You know what I'm saying? Where everything I talk about, it stems from that. You heard? Like, it stems from my mom passing. I lost a lot of people going on, mm-hmm. you know? Like, so I guess. I guess that's what I mean by emotional, like, that my experience is not necessarily about what I think. I, I write about that, too. Like, my mindset about the shit I... The, my mindset about how the shit I go through, you feel me? But I write about the, also the experiences of what I went through mm-hmm. and how I think about it and how, how, it, infle- how it reflects on my life. Mm-hmm. So that's what I be talking about in my music, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So... How, how was that, like... You seem so mature for being 20, and I know you've grown, but, like, going through the process of losing your mom, like, how 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 did you cope with that? I didn't <laughs> for some years. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I haven't fully coped with my mom passing. Like, it's been some times where I bought, I'll cry mm-hmm. for a while or write for a while mm-hmm. just about my mom. And not be okay mm-hmm. Even though she died Some 10 years ago Like it still It still, still hits you Like you know what I'm saying It's your mother Like you yeah, know so you can't Yeah, yeah Do so. you feel like that affects Like The way that you Interact with women Like I, Yeah for sure yeah. <laughs> Like If you don't mind Speaking on it Like How did you keep your head While being in the pen Uh For the longest I didn't like, like it was, it was dangerous in there. Yeah. Like I was right next to a right next to a nigga in the in the line, and this is my first week. And there was another nigga came over, stabbed bro, from right here, all the way to over here, and he 
he held his own intestines in his hand right next to me. Shit, I, that's probably the, the the like the sickest shit I've ever seen in my life. So, I guess like to a fault, like you you can't never really just hold your head high in the pen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain stuff that you can't even. Yeah, you yeah. Anticipate. Type yeah, of. it's just like if you get shot, like you ain't gonna ever get over that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not really, not truly. You gonna move forever, like yeah, trying to shoot you. Yeah, and I mean. With, Praying you didn't have to go through nothing like that. Like, yeah. Getting cut or nothing like that. Shit, like, I mean, I, I have, though, been cut <laughs> by a bitch. No, not enough. By yeah. a female. That's better. A long time. That's better than being cut in there. Yeah, because, sure. yeah, yeah, if you get cut in there, they probably going to kill you. Not probably. They going. Yeah, because out there, it's just, it's just survival. Yeah, exactly. It's it, it, and And it's one nigga, right, mm-hmm. that, that wants rank over everybody and wants to bitch everybody and you know in reality you can't bitch everybody you know what i'm saying i like you could take a nigga fool you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you could you could do all that shit right mm-hmm. but like what does that make you though like you know what i'm saying it don't make you real or or a live ass nigga I, I don't think so yeah i think that's the thing that i appreciate about you being that you Try to positively coin and turn the negative experiences in your life, yeah, and and let people know, like of course, like the next generation, because like a lot of people are crashing out right now. Yeah, like, if if you don't have family support, and you know, females and niggas be always hitting, telling me like, be coming to me, but like, you know, I'm better off alone, and or I'm better. Off. Look, let me tell you, let me tell y'all something, bro. A, a loneliness is an excuse mm. to give up cuz isolation is the devil's workshop like you know what I'm saying you need family you need somebody there Reg- regardless of whoever it is a girlfriend or wife of you need somebody there but it's coming you know like within 2021 like you got tape dropping <laughs> yeah sir I'll dropping. <laughs> hey I'm dropping an album soon man okay. wait on it it's okay. free Thieves of Glory mm-hmm. that's what it's called why you name it that man so in jail my last year is when I came up with this album mm-hmm. the name of it mm-hmm. but it, it means it means cops right cops will try to take your freedom from you mm-hmm. your mom your dad growing up if you grew up rough in that part, like with family, you know, they'll try to take your freedom, your 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 glory, right? Your glory. Cause what does glory really mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Achievements and everything. Mm-hmm. They'll try to under they'll try to undermine what you what you've done and good. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is ba- this album's basically stealing back the glory. Like, I need that glory for me. Because without that glory, I wouldn't be nothing, you were? It's like a so, sounds like you're saying like self gratification, yeah. self love, like Base. appreciating like yourself in life. Yeah, exactly. And I have I'm having a, uh, some big names on there too. Some so uh, you know the label for sure gonna be on that hub. Yeah, you know so. It's a bit. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit. We shoot, man. You know what I'm saying. I appreciate you for coming on hot on the block. You know what I'm saying? It's the real Trey Groove. Make sure y'all check out his music. It's on all streaming platforms. For sure, yes sir. Okay. Everything you are. Hey, find you at social media, bro. Uh shit. The the real Trey Groove is my Instagram. T H E R E A L T R E G R O O V E, and then I got Twitter. Shit, it's the it's real Trey Groove with no the, and then uh you know everything else about the same. So, sure, for sure. so. yeah, bro. We well, shoot. Hopefully, you know. We, we see we see some big things coming from you, you know, as the year continues to go. You know what I'm saying? DC keep popping for you. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I pray, you know, more success come come to you out here, you know, while you out in the south in Houston, man. It's Gersky. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.